Okay, I have got six exercises for those of you who've got one-sided or even double-sided thoracic spine muscle pain and spasm. So those people who are, if this is you, you turn one way and you're stuck or you turn away and there's heaps of pain you can, or you can go through it and there's a lot of pain on one side. Now this is for people who are really acute. So it's happened sort of day one, you wake up and you go, oh, that's really sore. And you might be just quite restricted one way. One way you can go okay, and the other way you can't go. Now it could be pain on the same side, the opposite side, Regardless, this is what's gonna help you. There's two mobility exercises we're gonna go through. We're gonna do them first, then we're gonna go through four so strengthening stability exercises. The two mobility ones is working on a book opener. Now that's designed to try and get some movement into rotation, because that's the most important thing we wanna go through first is rotation, not extension, because you probably find extension is really hard. Then we do a pec stretch, if you like, with rotation, which is basically locking down the upper thoracic and moving the lower. Then when we move into our strengthening, it's actually stability exercises to try and get the brain, well, the body out of muscle spasm and pain and do it, get those muscles doing a function so they contract properly and then relax. The best way to do that is stability exercises. They're pretty boring, but hey, these exercises are for pain relief and muscle reduction, spasm reduction. So they're gonna be essential for you to do to then move on to some other stuff. So the ones we're gonna work on is doing a side plank against the wall, and that's gonna be very low load, try and get one side of muscle system working. Then we move into a bird dog, but broken down into an arm raise first to try and get sort of half a bird dog if you like, because most people can't handle a full bird dog. Then we move into a leg side with a lift if you can. Again, same thing, we're trying to stabilize the thoracic spine, get those muscles engaging with the core to try and help reduce the muscle pain. Then hopefully we can move into a kneeling position, which is a pal off press to actually add some resistance in an anti-rotation position. So the important stuff we go from a sort of stabilization to a contralateral loading with the bird dog and then that anti-rotation work the pal off press. And hopefully those four rehab exercises, if you like, after mobility is what's gonna make a big difference in improving your rotation so you can then start working on extension and get rid of that pain or get it down. So first thing we're gonna work on is your book opener. Now, you would have seen these done before for thoracic rotation range. Now that's what we're trying to do, right? But we're going for pain relief and muscle spasm reduction. So when you do a book opener, you're trying to lock down the lower body, so these knees stay together, knees 90 degrees. You're gonna move the upper body, and you've gotta work on a bit of breathing with this too, so you're gonna breathe out when you do it, because you're gonna try and relax the thoracic spine, and hey, the lungs are part of that, so the breathing apparatus needs to relax as well, which will help you rotate. When you do this, you may find, if I'm going this way, this is technically left rotation, okay? So your, body's, your upper body's going left, even though my right shoulder's going right, when I do this, you might find you get to the pain, hit the pain, bang, there it is, okay? Well, that's as far as you're allowed to go. So when you see people doing this sort of thing, okay, you're not designed to go there and guts the pain out and think that you can just stretch it out. What I would aim for is just doing repetitions to where the pain is. It could be here, the pain could be here, the pain could be over here, and then return back nice and slowly. So you're just doing one after the other, going towards the pain, there it is, and come back because you won't be able to push through this stuff right this is designed to try and get you slowly slowly looser as you move that muscle tissue you move the thoracic spine and your brain gets less and less fearful about about the movement you stop guarding as much and hopefully those muscles get out of spasm and the pain drops down so rotation repetitions is the key all right, I would aim for maybe sort of 10 or 12, whatever you can tolerate, okay, going towards pain. And then you do one side and then just repeat the other side, come back to the, the sore side again, maybe you do three sets of that. You may find that's not enough, okay? And so if you're not, this doesn't fix you, you just gotta do more sessions of this. It's not gonna come right in one session of this. You may find you have to do multiple sessions across the days to eventually get all the way back to here and if you've got no pain and rotation back to there, then you're allowed to hold it. And hopefully in that position, you'll be going to feel a lot better. If you get to that with your thoracic spine, your rotation and sitting is going to be a lot better. Number two, you can now use foam roller, similar sort of stuff. We're still doing rotation because, hey, if you try to do this, which I don't recommend you do, if you try and do 
thoracic extension on the foam roller, the pressure down on that part of the spine is going to be too much. Especially if you've done a little bit of a sprain in one of those intervertible um, joints, you're going to find that you just won't even be able to get on that, let alone go extend. So don't even try and go the extension. Use this to lock down one side of your upper body. So I'm locking down, say, my left hand side. Again, this is going to be left rotation because I'm moving my lower body to the right. This will keep my sort of upper body scapula thoracic down. So then I can do my rotation again this way. Same drill, don't hold this. Okay, so come back into repetition. So from there, rotate to the right. If you go, do left rotation. Go to where the pain is, come back. You're probably used to doing this sort of stretch and holding it for lumbar spine and glutes. You need to go and do repetitions, that is the key with this, and slowly, slowly get more and more mobility. More movement is gonna be all, what you need, rather than just stretching the heck out of it. Okay, go to the pain, same reps and sets as you did for the upper, but just make sure you're doing this one as well as the book opener, then you're tackling rotation from both directions and that's really going to help. So once you've done those two then you can progress in some stability. Work. Now this is technically strengthening but not really. This is aiming to do strengthening work or strengthening exercises to switch on muscles to get them out of spasm so your pain drops down and your function improves and you can move. If you can get muscles working around your thoracic spine, your core that were in spasm you'll probably find when you naturally move you move a little bit better. First one I'm going to work on is your side plank. Most of you won't be able to do a side plank on the ground to switch on your obliques and your QL, the muscles that attach from your pelvis up into your spine and your ribs, to help with stability on one side and spasm on one side because it's just too much load. You need to go and drop the load. The best way to do that is against the wall. So, lowest level work is just a couple of feet away from the wall, leaning on the wall, turning your pelvic floor on, zipping your core here, and just staying there. You may find, hey, that's pretty easy, but yes, you'll notice if you put your hand there, hey, it's working there. You're doing muscle work that you previously weren't doing just sitting down, okay? And you're doing it on one side more than the other with this. So this is really good to try and engage some of that. If you find that's too easy, you can go away from the wall. If you can handle a little bit more load, step away a little bit. Still stay in that angle where you're in a plank position, if you like. Glutes are on, core's on here, pelvic floor's on and then hold in that position. As long as you can tolerate this with your shoulder, you'll find, hey, okay, now I'm doing a little bit more work there. Again, don't go to the point where you're going to let the pain, you're getting into pain levels. It, we want this pain free. We're not trying to aim for like, oh, that really hurts. We want no pain with this. And so when you come away from it, you go, hey, that feels a little bit better. Like okay, I've come out of pain. So again, do that both sides. You might want to go up to maybe 30 seconds, 45, even a minute with this to try and get the isometric contraction with that, as long as you can tie it that long, and then three or four sets each side. Once you've done that, then we need to go into a position where we are doing contralateral stability. So they can think of that as one side isometric stability, now we're doing contralateral. The best way to do that is a bird dog, but most people can't handle a bird dog. If you start doing this with thoracic spine pain, you start doing that, there's too much muscle work in the T-spine, and it gets sore. So, and that happens with a couple of patients of mine this week that can't handle it. So we've had to break it down into an arm raise and a leg slide. So the first one will be simply just going forward with one arm and holding it there. Now, when you do this, same rules apply about your core. Make sure your pelvic floor is on, your, your transverse abdominus is switched on here, and your back is in neutral, okay? Don't be extended like that. You wanna be in neutral here. The upper body, if I show you with this arm, when you raise this one forward, go as high as you can without tweaking your back. Just make sure you're not dropped into retraction. Try and keep pressed away into protraction and get that hand as high as you can. Be careful that, you know, you're trying to hold this for 10 seconds, but be careful you don't start causing any thoracic spine pain here, all right? Some people even can't even raise the arm. They might just need to have to raise a little bit of weight out of one arm and put it into the other to make and work on one side. But if you can handle that, you're aiming for 10 seconds, and I would alternate between left, right, left, right, same as all rest and sets, but do about 10 of those on each side, and then move to the leg slide, which is the other component of the bird dog. What you can do with this one, again, not forgetting to turn this on, is keep your two hands on the ground this time, but you could just start with sliding your leg backwards, 
Okay, see how that feels in your thoracic spine. Do you get any spasm or pain with that? Can you hold that position? Can you keep stable? Can you do it without shifting your bum? All right, so make sure when you do that, you're not sort of shifting off to one side. So you've got to be able to stabilize and do that. Then what you can do, I'll show you on the other leg, is you can do this and lift it and push your heel to the wall behind you. Now that's going to add way more load into your thoracic spine. Okay, so it's long, you wouldn't take this for granted. Like as, when you do a bird dog or these exercises with no pain, you don't really notice that the T spine's working quite a bit. Trust me, when you have pain there, you will, and you just got to make sure that that's not causing any further pain. If it is, you go back to the leg slide. So once you've got the, those ones done, then and then you're feeling maybe a little bit better. You, know, you, you check your rotation every now and again. Is it is it getting better? Then I'd end up doing a anti-rotation exercise. And that's the best one to start with when you've got pain like this, is a pal-off press in what we call half kneeling. So from this position here, tie that to something that's not gonna move. Go to one leg. Now, people will say, which, which leg forward? Whatever's most comfortable for you that you feel stable on. Um, when you're doing this, I'll show you this way, is make sure that that buttock is on to stabilize your pelvis here, okay, so you don't gotta go into extension. So you've got that on, which will help you keep a neutral spine, and then you can engage your pelvic floor and your TA here to keep this stable, all right? So you're sort of stabilizing the ribs down to the pelvis. You're not letting them flare out like that, down like this. Then this hand, closest to the band, comes in, and that hand across. Now, at the moment, I've got a short lever. That's not doing too much rotation. There's a tiny bit there, okay? So there's not too much demand going on here. When I push that out, and I'm talking about three or four seconds going out, don't hold it there, just come back again. As I go out and in, well, as I go out, the load is increasing, okay? So my, one side of my spine is having to work harder to stop me going that way. So if I'm pushing out there and the band's on the right, my left-hand side is technically trying to do left rotation. All right, so you're gonna work on, if you push this out, the band to the right, I'm gonna work on left-sided, which is anti-rotation to the right, okay? I'm trying to stop, resist the, my, the band pulling me right. I'm staying neutral. I'm not going and doing rotation. I am just working on, can I stabilize? And that's gonna be enough to turn on those muscles to give them a job to do, get them out of spasm, so when you move naturally, Hey presto, things are a bit better. So you might have to do quite a few rounds of this sort of stuff, okay? Sometimes people just choose the exercises that work the best. Give all of them a crack to see how good your rotation is and work on that to drop your muscle spasm and your, and your pain in the thoracic spine before you start working on your extension. Hope that helps, see you next time.